David Crandall here with another FL Studio tutorial. Today I want to talk about using FL Studio's Arpeggiator. And what the Arpeggiator does is it takes a group of notes or one note and it converts it into many notes separated in a pattern. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use that and I'm going to go ahead and play what the Arpeggiator does. As you can see, I've got this string of notes here. And what the Arpeggiator does is it's going to take each note and separate them into different notes in some sort of pattern. So check it out. Okay, so that's what the arpeggiator does, and you can use multiple notes as well. So let's go ahead and just add another note to this and just bring it all the way across and see how this sounds. Check it out. So you can kind of get the idea of that. All right, to accomplish this, go ahead and select the instrument that you would like. For this, I am using a mini Moog instrument. This is a free VST plugin that you can get and install on FL Studio. It's great. It's got tons and tons of presets. If we go here under presets, you can see all the instruments and presets that it has. So definitely, definitely worth downloading. Okay, well anyway, if we select our instrument and we go to our channel settings under function you'll see the arpeggiator section right in the middle if you never noticed it before it's okay I didn't when I first saw this because it's very 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 you know discreet kind of okay we have different options in this black box here basically we have off which turns the arpeggiator off okay then we have up and this arpeggiates upward. You can hear the notes are going up. We have down. The, ar the notes are just going to arpeggiate down. And then we have up and down. And we have up and down sticky. And then we have random. So you can get really crazy with that. And here we have our time, which we can set, you know, that's the speed. And uh, this is the gate here. And then we have our range, the amount of octaves, or the amount of notes that can be played. And then repeat. This is how many times the note repeats. If we set it down to none, it's going to play each note one at a time. Okay. We'll switch it to down here. If we switch it to two, each note is going to play two times. Likewise with three. And we're going to go ahead and go with four. All right, so that's pretty much all you need to know. There's slide and some other options that you can choose. You can also choose chords. Okay, we have auto sustain. Um, and then we have our major chords. So you can choose to arpeggiate in a major chord fashion. So if you have one note and you select major, it's going to arpeggiate a major note or a major chord based on the note that you play. But we're just going to go ahead and go with auto, or auto sustain, doesn't really matter, and check it out. So that's all you need to do to set the arpeggiator. And I have a song ready, and this is a remix of my song Freedom, and here's our pattern, it's in pattern 8, and we'll go ahead and listen to how it sounds with the song. Oops, I have to select song first. Here we go. Okay, so that's pretty cool. One of the other things you could do to really enhance the arpeggiator is you can add delay to the instrument. And what you do is you want to take your instrument, pull it up, and bring it to a channel. Right now we have it in channel 7. And we go to our mixer and we select Fruity Delay 2. Just go right here, hit select, and select Fruity Delay 2. Now I already have delay in, and I have it set to a time that I'd like the delay to play. Um, everything's set as I'd like. You can set it however you want, but check out how it sounds now <coughs> with the delay on. Sorry, I choked. <laughs> 
Here we go. This is how it will sound with a delay on. Pretty neat if you ask me. So let's go ahead and play it with the song. And there you have it. That's how you use the arpeggiator. Again, you can use multiple notes, um, as you'll hear in this example. On measure 45, I have the arpeggiator going again, except I'm using multiple notes, as you can see right here. This is how the pattern sounds alone. <laughs> So that's how you use the arpeggiator that is built in to FL Studio. Thank you for watching. My name is David Grendel. If you're enjoying these tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll have plenty more coming. In fact, if you have an idea for a tutorial or you want to know how to use a certain feature in FL Studio, drop me a line and I'll do my best to make that tutorial for you. So again, my name is David Crandall. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial and I hope that it has helped you with your next FL Studio project. Until next time, you've watched another one of my FL Studio tutorials. Take it easy.